All right, this is going to be our first Reaper quest in the series. Uh, I'm going to run this on Reaper 1. I was originally planning on running these on Elite at level 6 uh, and not uh, running these on Reaper, but I've changed my mind, decided to go ahead and give it a try, even though we're, like, I would consider us a little undergeared to be running these on Reaper. Uh, we're, we're subject to get one shot um, with elemental damage, uh, and with uh, and with Carnage Reaper. So just kind of go over my gear slots here to show you how undergeared I am. The I have Seeker plus one spot goggles, not horrible. No helmet at the moment. St resistance plus one, effectively uh, necklace. Heal plus three trinket, which is doing nothing. It will next level do something. Cold absorption 10%. That might help a little bit with uh, the fan, with the uh, some of the reapers casting. Lesser false play five five hit points. Feather falling ring. Uh, strength three deadly three. That's probably my best item that I own so far. I bought that from the auction house. Strength two boots. So effectively no boots. In fact. Um, Come to think of it, why do I have these boots on? I think I'm going to uh, just unequip these boots because I would be better off with the set bonus giving me uh, from Anger's Gift giving me plus two to hit. So, I mean, at least I'm getting something from this. I was getting nothing from these boots. Uh, con two, effectively, you know, useless combustion after that, but con two ring. Fort 41, I'm hoping this will help me out a little bit. And uh, Axe Block, Spear Block. It looks like I should have done repairs. I might do that after this quest. So uh, this is actually pretty good. This won't help me against the Reapers. Their damage is massive. I, uh, when I die, I'll probably get. it's probably because of a one-shot. But this is where I'm at. So in Reaper, I always run the Shield spell. That's why I have so many clickies. And I'm going to always keep Expeditious Retreat on. Uh, I am not going to bother with, I'm just going to keep my Ethereal Greatsword. I don't have an augment for it yet. The actual monsters, I don't think will be too bad. The healing penalty is unfortunate. Well, that's unfortunate. We got a guy up there. But I do have, I do have this, so we could, don't do great damage with the bow, but sometimes... I do have a way to deal with them. All right, so as you can see, on Reaper, the it's not too bad. Like, you know, I took a little more damage, but it's nothing, you know, even under geared, it wasn't too bad. Um, the real problem is the Reapers. So the reason I'm wanting on Reaper 1 is because the Reapers are the main thing that's going to kill me. I'm going to cleave here, get my... And elemental damage. The casters are tough on Reaper, especially the the things uh, I have for resist right now. I just have the five all the way across, only four PRR. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If I'm dying to element elemental damage, I will probably use my wand every five minutes, even though it slows me down. But let's just try it without it. I have five. Yeah, and uh, for some of the easier content, I was putting uh, putting up videos, like a lot of, uh, you know, putting up videos basically for the whole run. Uh, starting here, I'm doing it basically for quest by quest on Reapers. Reason being is that there might be people that are stuck on a certain quest and they want to look at one quest and they don't want to have to go through all of these quests I did to find it. And so for the easy content, I think or the easier content, I figured um, that might have less interest overall, but there might be people new to the game that might want to sort of multitask and watch that while they're playing and running the quests. So that's why I uh, I did it the way I did it. I'm going to top myself off. All 
All right, we have his key. I'm going to put in the forum post a Y Reaper thread. Oh, Plague Reaper, and I'm stuck here, unfortunately. So we're just going to keep swinging. Hope Plague Re Reaper seems like he's... There we go. That was dangerous. I got stuck. Uh, uh, a lot of the deaths I have in Reaper are because I get stuck. And uh, there we go. I think I remember that's optional. Don't want to do any optionals in Reaper. I don't have these quests memorized as much as I have some of the other quests memorized. But I know them pretty well. I mean, well enough to, to run them. I might do a few optionals or go a few ways I don't need to go. But I'm not way off on the quests. Um, he's pretty good on spell points, so I'm going to have him top me off. All right, uh, I believe. These guys hit pretty hard, uh, but you can see it's we're doing okay now. I'm I don't really I'm not really lacking spell points, but the clear I can't use it, so I might as well to re, re, renew my divine mites. Uh, one of the great things about Reaper actually is the is, is the fact that I could regenerate my spell points, and even though I'm not really what I would call a casting class, uh, in some ways that's even better because it means I'm really not going to run out of spell points very much. I tried tripping him. They made their save. Kind of makes sense. He's a... Haven't had any close calls. I mean, honestly, that Reaper should have been a close call. I was. I don't know what happened. Uh, I was trapped, but it didn't didn't turn out to be. All right, we have two Reapers. That's bad news. Let's get this as quick as we can. Smite. These guys hit hard. Oh, Famine. That's bad. All right. That was our first big test, a double Reaper. I'm seeing a few cases um, which have me concerned, like where I seem to swing my sword right at the enemy, and it just kind of goes through them not... Not missing, not hitting, just doing nothing. So I'm hoping that's just like an animation issue and not an issue with, per se, with the uh, with what I'm doing. I don't remember that recalling that happening before. I played for uh, a long time a barbarian. Uh, whoa, we don't need that trap. Okay. Almost went into that trap. We don't need that trap. All 
All right, this is good to know. If we, for some reason, have a death, we could run back there and uh, and not fail the quest. All right, well, we got a blindness immunity goggles. That's not bad. I, I think I'll keep the one, what I have, but uh, that could be useful. Uh, in Reaper, these can have both a mythic bonus and a Reaper bonus. We didn't get any, but um, it could have it. So there is a uh, chest with no named items in here. Might as well get that while we're this way. It's not bad armor, so we'll um, see if we might want to auction that off. And that is Hobgoblin Horde on Reaper 1. We received 10 minutes, uh, 171 Reaper XP. I think um, I took a few pads I didn't need to go, so probably could have been a little bit shorter.